been away for a bit but I'm back and I would like to teach you today on how I animate my hand rigs and how I use there are two types of ways to do your hand rigs that I find are very useful and also on our moho tutorial manual the next stage is telling us how to use styles so I'm also gonna add that in in this lesson so firstly I think when you're doing your hands you can find a reference online and this is the reference I found on Pinterest I'm not sure who the artist is because it's blurred out and I couldn't read who the artist is but it is Arthur's hand turnaround so um, the type one that you can use is you can have your switch switch layers to create your hands and in the switch layer you can have them switched and then so what I'm gonna teach you is maybe you want to add you've already planned what your hand is gonna do and what your character is gonna do maybe they're gonna point so if they're gonna point um, let's say we take the point here all we have to do is we can add another hand and say this will be point and this is for your switch selections so we have our palm here that is fine and then so we kind of have to think of okay when you point how is the hand and then when you normally point you can either bring them down it's just editing them you can bring them down to how your hand looks when you point I guess it's simply just look at your hand and you can figure it out like that or you can have a sketch out and you can just follow the borders of your outline or, or your sketch that you have already pre-done and you can also use this style if you have all your hands you can create them in maybe Photoshop Illustrator Affinity and you can then just import them in as styles and then this is another way you can also bring it down like that so I'll just quickly run through this and quickly do that and just like that you've already got your point and is pointing your characters pointing and you have your and rig and you can add them on as you continue you can have your side whatever the action the character is doing if it's gonna crunch up its hands you can do that if it's gonna do a peace sign you can do that and on the side you can do the same thing so you can have as many as 10 10 actions or 10 drawings of your hand what you want your hand to do and you can simply just use the switch layers and then you can go into the full layer and attach this to any character you can have so you can take this and then just pin it to the character you have and it's reusable that's the good part about it you can always use it for any other character and it's very useful and handy to have so you don't have to be doing hands and then few tricks on the switch layer uh, to have them become smooth you can add the frame by frame and the action becomes a bit smoother and let's say we go here and we change into our timeline okay we've got the wrong one let's go back let's go back to the original yes hand layer that was doing this now and then we can do frame by frame apply and then here you'll be able to adjust the keyframes that you have and then maybe inside you want you want that to happen as it turns and then you can uh, interpolate sub layers also and then you have your keyframes and then you can adjust your keyframes as they turn and so on and so on but it seems to have a little error here I do not know why but 
you can always edit it and fix that later later on as you're editing so as we're going through it i will not explain but usually it works <laughs> and usually it doesn't give me those errors and i don't know why it's giving me those errors but that's that's your switch layer rig you're gonna have your switch layer rig points and then like that you can adjust where it changes and so on and so on and that is one method that is the switch layer method and then the next method is combining the two you have your switch layer and on top of that you can go inside and rig rig each hand and then you can have your actions and then it expands the ability maybe the hand you want to express the surprise like a surprise hand and you're gonna have a surprise hand um, you can also edit them to a twist you know they can be that they can be anything really any signs you have with your characters and you can edit them how you want them so you rig the character and let's say this one you convert it to a bone and you go in and you rig your hand your fingers you can have them however you want to rig them you can rig the whole palm with the fingers in one rig and you can have all your many different rigs you can also do it this way where you use the bone strength to create some flexibility and that creates some animation and also you can point bind and go into every layer and point bind them as you wish and that is one way to do it combining the switch layer and the bone rig and yeah I use this one the most because it is effective effective I can use it for many characters I can have my character and it can do many actions and some actions are even smoother when you <coughs> when you co um, when you flexi bind them correctly and you edit the points and everything perfectly and you can actually bend your you can create actions also to bend your fingers and to set actions that you want that you know your character will be doing pointing clinching a fist and saying bye or counting counting one two three and so forth you can really go expand do whatever you want with them and then so those are the two styles i use switch layers for really cartoony stuff and then if it's an advanced rig i go in and rig it a bit rig each hand and you can also use the bone rig alone if the hand is not doing much and you're creating a scene where it's from one angle and you don't really need to change your hands as much and that's a perfect way but for a quick easy way the switch layer method is one of the easiest and really effective you can create you can create really smooth actions also in between you can have another in between from this one to this one you can have a three-quarter pose but for this example i didn't have the three-quarter pose and as you saw we quickly did a point and you can do the all the countings and everything and it's pretty easy and then going to the manual where they were telling us how to use styles creating a style so I've already created a few let's say you want to change you want to change the color of your hand you can just click on the shape and go to a set style maybe you have a palette that you've created and like they have already created the brown skin or green skin so you can simply click on that and go in here style one 
click on brown skin and it changes so you can set that up so let's quickly set a new style as to how the uh, the tutorial manual more tutorial manual this is a pro feature also and I'm just gonna read a short insert from the manual if I can find it I can't find it right now but moving on um, we're just gonna create a style let's say we want um, let's say we want red skin <laughs> or blue skin yeah let's go with blue skin let's create an avatar and so what we do is we create we go to style style menu and we create new and then from here pick the color you want and we want blue for avatar and we pick this blue and we say okay and then you can name it avatar blue zimmer blue <laughs> and you have your avatar blue and then you go in that's your style created avatar blue and then click here it's normally on the down one. I always make the mistake to use that one but if you come down here and there you have your style change and you can then apply it to all the rest and I guess the style is useful if you have multiple characters and you want or you can have a set theme like you're doing episodes and you have multiple episodes and you want to pass along the same so nothing is really different and you can have your set palette and yeah i think that is the effective way of using styles i'm not sure if there's another way that they're useful but I hardly use styles myself because I feel I can just use the same color or create a color palette and import it and then just use the eyedropper tool. But it's useful and you can get quite neat effects and it could be easier to, to do stuff. And yeah, that is my lesson. Remember to subscribe. Um, I'm aiming to get 100 subscribers. For my new channel so please subscribe please follow and also i'll be uploading the this file for my hand rig on my website and you can catch it there you can download it and add on as you wish any other characters and it's totally free and yeah i hope you enjoyed this lesson this is how i rig my hands for my characters and hope to see you in the next lesson and I'll look through the manual for the next lesson. It should be something to do with 3D. So we'll be adding some 3D in Moho, a 2D software. So that should be fun. All right. Thank you.